All right, so this question is asking us to evaluate 4 to the log base 4 of m. What's that equal to? Well, here's another one that you should just know. The rule that we looked at before was if you've got a to the log base a of x, what did that equal? Now, I tell you what, let's, let's assume maybe that you don't. Right off the top of your head here, you don't. Let's take a quick look at this over on the side here. So 4 to the log base 4 of m. If you're not sure what this is equal to, it's very likely because of this exponent here, right? Don't know what that's supposed to equal. Well, let's, let's take a look at this. Let's call that exponent there x. So the log base 4 of m, we're going to say that that's equal to x. Okay, okay. Now, let's convert this into the exponential form. I mean, that's, that's what I do when I'm working with logs, and I want to solve it. I'm, I'm going to convert forms here. So the base is 4 of the logarithm, so the base of the exponential will be 4. A logarithm is an exponent, so that's 4 to the x, and it's going to equal what's inside. Well, well, there's my answer right there, okay? Because remember, I, told, I said that x was the same as the log base 4 of m. This right here, the log base 4 of m, this is my x. 4 to the x equals, well, according to this expression, it equals m. So that means that expression right there must equal m. It must be equal to what's inside that logarithm. So come over here, and that's consistent because the rule that we looked at earlier in this, in this chapter was a to the log base a of x is x. A power of a and a log base a are inverses of each other, and they cancel each other out. So right here, 4 to the log base 4 of m is just going to be m. The answer here is b.